Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a 1935 SS Stewart guitar and the headstock is in the process of some reconstructive surgery. So if you wanna see how that goes down, stick around. Just to get you up to speed with this guitar, I salvaged what I could from the original pieces of the headstock and glued them back together. Now let's continue from there. The first thing I want to do is clean up this headstock. So I'm just going to give it some sandpaper, try to even up the seams on the face plate side. Just taking some measurements on thickness. Here I just want to draw a line. So let me show you, this piece of tape is going to be the line where I'm going to make a cut. Here I need to apply a little spacer. This is going to be the underside of my cut, and this is what's going to rest on the table. So I need a little spacer to get up over the fingerboard. So I'm going to take tape and super glue. Let me go get set up on the bandsaw right now. Okay, here's my setup. I don't know who's more nervous, me or my dog, but I set it up down here. So I have my piece of stock attached to my headstock so I can hold it down right on the table and follow this green line here. I feel pretty confident in this situation rather than up on the bench top. It was a little bit too tall. I felt awkward. So here goes. Watch out. Watch out, Shira. Now all I need to do is get a nice flat surface on here. Now, this might actually be a good candidate for the belt sander. I can get that nice and flat. out and try to fit some mahogany down in here. Okay, I got two pieces here made. Just checking out my clamping system. So here's how this is gonna go in. I'm gonna put this one in first. Here I'm just gonna use good old tight bond. This should be more than strong enough. figure out how these pieces go together. Hold on, baby. 
Oh, hold on. Once she starts, she doesn't stop. Hold on, I'm almost done. I know. I hear you. Just give me a second. Okay, baby, I know. I know. Let this dry overnight. She's looking for a little time. Outside time, if you know what I mean. piece of mahogany here that I've got down to a, a nice thickness. It's not overly proud, but it's got a little more thickness than what the headstock is here. And you can see it's plenty big, oversized to cut off after the fact. So I'm gonna go ahead, glue this in place. I'm just gonna work the glue. So I'm proud on the top and bottom to remove material. Let's get some of the squeeze out out. Now for this end here, I made a little piece that fits the contour. I'm just gonna put a piece of leather here so I don't put a deep impression or anything on the finish, or on the wood rather. I'm gonna redo all the finish. Just don't want to get the wood too marred up or anything. I'm going to use the plate here as a guide and I'm just going to trace around it. And of course the, you know, the pegs are all through there. So this should give me a very accurate shape to cut out. Okay, so here's the pattern. Let's take it over to my bandsaw. Okay, so when I took it over to the bandsaw, I realized I have the tracing on the wrong side because I need to have this side up because of the angle. This is gonna sit on top of the table or on a uh, shim of some sort, but I can't, um, I don't wanna lift it up that high off the table with this angle. So anyway, I gotta trace it on the back side. Here we go. It's about as close as I want to get with the saw. I'll do the rest by hand. And now I can start shaping this. Actually, have a line on both sides so I can kind of flip it as I need to. I could
could feather it easily, pretty easily. I could fade it from here, get some tobacco brown paint and re-lacquer this whole thing. I'll lose the label. Um, it's kind of messed up anyway. The crack runs pretty much right through it. So, but I have an idea about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep keep sanding this, get it close as possible to finish size and shape. I'm using this other side here as a gauge for how this side here, how this radius and everything in here needs to be finished.